Hello everyone, and welcome to this exciting video on harnessing energy from volcanoes for human use. Volcanoes are one of nature's most powerful phenomena, capable of releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of heat, gas, and magma. While volcanoes are often associated with destruction and danger, they also offer tremendous potential as a clean, renewable energy source. In this video, we will explore the various ways in which energy from volcanoes can be harnessed, from geothermal power plants to the direct use of volcanic gases. We will delve into the science behind these technologies, examining the complex processes that make it possible to extract energy from deep within the Earth's crust. Join us as we uncover the potential of volcanoes as a source of sustainable energy, and discover how we can tap into this incredible resource to power our world in a more environmentally friendly way. So sit back, relax, and get ready to explore the exciting world of volcanic energy. Geothermal energy is the internal heat of the Earth. It can be outsourced from shallow internal rocks to as deep as magma. This energy can be tapped to generate electricity or to heat or cool buildings. Geothermal energy can be outsourced in almost all areas, but greater amount can be outsourced from areas near volcanoes, whether active or inactive. The magma is closer to the ground in areas nearer to volcanoes. Geothermal energy can be used to heat or cool buildings. This is because deep in the ground, the temperature is higher during winter or cold season and lower during summer or hot season. During winter or cold season, the heat pump transports heat from the ground into the indoor air of the building. While during summer or hot season, the heat pump transports heat from the building into the ground. Geothermal heat pumps are better than conventional heating systems because they are cheaper, more efficient, natural, renewable, and eco-friendly. Geo geothermal energy can also be used to generate electricity. The conversion of energy to electricity happens in geothermal power plants. These plants use steam to move the turbines which generate electricity. There are three types of geothermal power plants, direct dry steam, flash steam and binary cycle. A direct dry steam power plant uses directly the geothermal fluid, which is in the form of steam, to move the turbines of the plant. This type of power plant does not use fossil fuels in turning the turbine. It also releases minimal amount of pollutants. It is the oldest known type of geothermal power plant. A flash stream power plant has flash tanks that convert the geothermal fluid into vapor. It uses vapor to drive its turbines to generate electricity. A binary cycle power plant uses two fluids in the system. It uses hot geothermal fluid to heat fluids with lower boiling point. It also uses hot geothermal fluid to convert secondary fluid into vapor in the heat exchanger. Lastly, it uses vapor to power the turbine and generate electricity. The type of geothermal energy power plant depends on the type of geothermal fluid used. If the geothermal fluid is in the form of steam, direct dry steam power plant must be used. If the geothermal fluid is very hot, it would be better to use flash steam power plant. Moreover, if the geothermal fluid has lower temperature and it would be harder to convert them to vapor, then it would be better to use binary cycle power plant. Geothermal energy can be used also for other applications and uses. Hot springs and saunas use the heat from geothermal reservoir for refreshment and therapeutic applications. Some industrial processes use the hot water from geothermal reservoir to operate. Some uses hot geothermal fluid to clear down roads during winter. In summary, geothermal energy can be tapped for human use. Geothermal energy can be used to heat or cold down buildings using geothermal heat pumps. Geothermal energy can also be used to generate electricity. Geothermal energy can also be used for other applications such as in hot springs. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Select the correct answer, 
Which of the following is the source of geothermal energy? The correct answer is B, heat beneath Earth's surface. Select the correct answer, which of the following sites is best for obtaining geothermal energy? The correct answer is A, near a volcano. During which season does a heat pump transport heat in the following direction? The correct answer is A, hot season. Select the correct answer, in which of the following applications is geothermal energy useful? The correct answer is D, all of the above. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.